Hello everyone, my name is Tanvi and welcome to my channel The House Station. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you all how I did these half cut crease eyes using the shades of pink. So Valentine's Day is right around the corner and I wanted to do something related to that. So I've done these half cut crease eyes and I'm actually very happy with the result and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. So without wasting any more time, let's get started with the video. I'm going to begin with applying a concealer on my eyelids. The concealer is going to help me cover up all the discoloration on my eyelids and is also going to prime them for the eyeshadows. Once I have the concealer well blended on my eyelids, I am going to set it with a compact powder so that it does not crease. Setting the concealer with a setting powder, compact powder or a nude eyeshadow is very important as that will stop the concealer from creasing and will also ensure a smooth application and blending of the eyeshadows. Now that my eyelids are prepared, I am going to begin with the eyeshadows. So first on my blending brush, I'm going to take a peachy shade, I'm going to use this as a transition shade. So I'm going to apply this in my crease and I'm going to drag it up till my brow bone. After that on the same blending brush, I'm going to take a pink eyeshadow and apply this as well into my crease. And I'm going to drag it upwards but I'm not going to take it as high as the peachy shade. I'm going to keep it somewhere in the center of my crease and my brows. Once I'm happy with the pink, I'm going to pick up a maroon shade, this time on a tiny blending brush and I'm going to apply this in my crease and also in the outer V of my eye. I'm going to concentrate this shadow just a little above my crease. I'm not going to take it too high up but I'm also not going to keep it very low because then after I do my cut crease, it won't be visible. After I'm done with the maroon, it is now time to cut my crease for which I will take a concealer on the back of my hand and then apply it on my lash line with a brush. Then I'm going to look up, look here, look there and the concealer is going to create a rough line in my crease. So this is the area from where I need to cut my crease. So using that rough line as a guideline, I'm going to cut my crease and since this is a half cut crease, I'm going to cut my crease only up till the outer V of my eye. I'm going to first make like an outline for the cut crease and then fill it in with the concealer. For blending, I'm going to use my finger as it will ensure a smooth blending and will also pick up the excess concealer. Once my concealer is well blended, I am going to set it with a nude eyeshadow. Now to fill up the space, I'm going to apply two shades of shimmery pink eyeshadows, one dark and one light or baby pink. So I'm going to apply the dark shade in the center of my eyelid and I'm going to apply the light pink or the baby pink shade in the inner corner up till the center of my eyelid. I'm going to first apply the two shades with my fingers and then blend it with each other just by running my fingers over the eyeshadows one by one. After that, I'm going to take that tiny blending brush and I'm going to pick up some of that maroon eyeshadow on it and I'm going to blend the shimmery pink eyeshadow with the outer V. I'm also going to darken up the crease a little bit so that it is more visible and looks like a beautiful cut crease. Next, I'm going to do eyeliner for which I'm going to do a thin winged eyeliner, not too much of drama over here. And after eyeliner, I'm going to curl my lashes and apply mascara on them. After I'm done applying mascara, I'll quickly do foundation and concealer off camera just to save time. Plus, there is nothing new or different in it. So, yeah. 
so here i am with my foundation and concealer and i also did a little bit of bronzing on my face and i'm going to do my lower lash line for which i am going to apply a brown colored kajal in my waterline black sometimes feels like really harsh and since this eye look is using shades of pink which in itself is a very soft and light color i didn't want my waterline to be like really harsh that is why i'm using brown once my waterline is done on a flat shader brush, I'm going to pick up the pink shade which I applied in my crease and I'm going to apply that in the inner corner of my lower lash line. And then on that same brush, I'm going to take the maroon shade and I'm going to apply that in the outer corner of my lower lash line, making sure to connect it with the outer V on the upper lash line. Okay, so eyes are finally done and now I'm going to apply blush on my cheeks for which I'm going to use a pink liquid lipstick because I'm running out of my pink blush and since this is like pink eyes, I wanted to keep the blush and the lips pink as well. So as you can see clearly I've gone a bit overboard with this and that is completely okay because I still need to set my face with powder and I obviously don't want the blush to fade away after I set my face with powder. Okay so after blush I am going to set my face with compact powder and I can see that the blush is still a little bit harsh so I'm going to take my beauty blender and I'm going to bounce it on the area in which I've applied the blush to lighten the color of the blush just a little bit next i'm going to highlight my cheekbone brow bones and uh, the tip of my nose and then using a brown eyeshadow i am just going to darken my eyebrows a little bit now it's time to do my lips so for lips i am using a combination of uh, three lipsticks so first i'm going to apply like a dark plump shade on my lips then i'm going to apply a pink lip crayon on top of it and i'm going to blend the two colors well and with the lip brush i'm going to spread it evenly all over my lips and to end it i'm going to top it off with a pink colored lip gloss and with that here is my pink half cut crease look for valentine's day absolutely ready so that was the video you guys i really enjoyed doing these half cut crease eyes and i hope that you all enjoyed watching it as much as i enjoyed doing it and uh, yeah so that's it for today's video and i'll see you guys in my next video until then have a great week take care of yourselves and goodbye